Hey, thanks for getting on this call. Good to chat with you, Rick. It's good to finally ask some you. Yeah. Today, I'm talking to Dr. Adam Pritchard. He's our dinosaur expert for Ranger Rick Dinosaurs. And he works as a curator of paleontology for the Virginia Museum of Natural History. But Adam, what exactly does that mean? Paleontology is the study of ancient life. And a curator is someone who works at a museum with fossils, both in exhibits and in a bit of collection like this one. Ah, cool. Some days I'll be working in this collection, organizing new boxes of fossils that have come in. Other days I'll be going out to groups, so including children, and, and educating and teaching them about fossils. And other days I'll go out into the field, whether it's in the desert or in the forest, any place where there are fossils, and I'm just digging, trying to add more to our knowledge about extinct life. So, do you have a favorite dinosaur? Rick, I must admit, my favorite dinosaur is Tyrannosaurus rex. It has been since I was a little kid, and I know it's a lot of people's favorite dinosaur. It's not a special choice or anything like that, but my gosh, every time you learn something new about Tyrannosaurus rex, it gets more amazing. It's on my face forward, which would have given it very, very special, powerful vision. Its jaws are some of the most powerful of any meat-eating animal in nature, able to crunch through the bones of things like Triceratops. We've reconstructed its muscles using comparisons with modern animals. We've looked inside of its head at the shape of its brain, and we've studied on its legs to try and understand how fast it could run. I think that's one of the most amazing things about it, is we study T-Rex, and we know it very well for a dinosaur. Okay, if you were to go back in time with me and my pals, where would you go? Rick, I'm always scared to think about time traveling with your pals because it, it just never seems to go exactly the way you plan it. But if I could go back with you, I would go back to the Triassic period. I don't know if you remember, but that's the first period of the age of dinosaurs. And it's a time when dinosaurs aren't all super giants. They're relatively small. And there are all kinds of other strange reptiles like two-legged crocodile relatives with giant teeth. And I'd love to know about the world that dinosaurs sort of came to prominence in. How did that happen? There's an amazing story there that we still only understand a little bit of. To see that alive, that world alive, would be incredible. Yeah, it's fascinating. Well, thank you for your time, Dr. Pritchard. Rick, it's been great to talk to you. Hope we get to chat again. This is one of many videos featured in Ranger Rick magazines. Get your subscription today.